I just get a nice cock shot of Don in his designer <laughs> jeans, just sitting in a, just sitting in a nice little chair. I love it. Wide leg. Yeah, that's nice. I got the tears too. The little pre tears. The little yeah. design tears type deal. Did you did you buy those tears? Yeah, I bought the tears. You bought the yeah. tears. <laughs> that's fashionable. Those are fashionable tears. I don't I don't know how I feel about them because I like when you have jeans and you tear them yourself. That's okay, you know. I but uh. Yeah, I have no opinion. I I really didn't intentionally get the fashionable tears. It's all they had, and these these jeans are stretchy. <laughs> it's all they had in it's the in had. the lank store. Oh yeah, it's all they had. I do <laughs> I like have to, size sixty seven legs. I do like to imagine Don consciously going inside of a store and just being like, "Where are your tear jeans at? Can you give me your finest <laughs> pair of tear jeans?" Which are they? I could believe. I could believe if that actually happened. Don mm -hmm. doesn't go to the shop. He goes to like a tailor. Who has to sew together thirteen different <laughs> pairs of jeans to make them long that enough? That is true. They're, he has to go straight to Levi themselves to get an appropriate <laughs> amount of denim <laughs> to cover those fucking tree trunks of legs that he has. Yeah, we did get our first uh, fan uh, animation, which was nice. How'd you guys like that? Did you feel like? Did you feel like Kurt Russell or I don't know another <laughs> superstar <laughs> or Ego Raptor? Yeah, no, I felt like Ego Raptor. Yeah, did you feel like Ego Raptor? I felt just like Ego Raptor. It was great, man. I, uh, I, I wasn't. I don't know why he made me the the battered wife. That was well, we, that was we all know. Why. You were my, you were my battered wife. I yeah, was I was yeah, Don's bad right. wife. Yeah, Don was yeah. in but the. How corner. else are they going to get you in the get you in the uh, the right, episode? Yeah. Well, you have to understand that Don. <laughs> it was a little charity they extended. Yeah, there. we'll make we'll make Tom. No, well, that was the Hunter no, no, and Tom no, no, episode. No, 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 no. That was the episode just that me and Hunter was, recorded, right? Mm. That was. That was because he was like the, I think legally the only thing that we could have Don do that he has done in real life is beat a woman. Because other than that, I think all he's done in our podcast is talk about how he's pro rape, how he eats <laughs> pussy, and how he's a gangly Actually monster. Actually happened, yeah. So to animate, to, to animate that, I feel like he, th he thought he might have gotten himself into a little bit of a, a little bit of a pickle. So he probably was like, <laughs> well, I guess I'll just have him beat Tom as if he's his <laughs> wife. <laughs> With this little silly games moment. I like that. How did you like it? Were you excited? I thought it was nice, yeah. I thought it was sick. I like uh I like seeing these little clips of seeing which ones are uh which which audio clips people choose. Was it the I can't remember, was it the uh oh yeah, it was Jay, yeah, the abusive wife. And no, that was all three of us recording. No, that was the episode I was going. Yeah, it was the episode Don was gone. No, uh, that that was definitely a more recent one. I think that was from episode ten because no. that because the, because the only other subject that we talked about that wasn't Don eating pussy was you getting your virginity take like Taken away was you losing your? Vir <laughs> she came. <laughs> she fucking stole it from. No, <laughs> she, please. She took it from That's how your mom looks at it. I saw someone in the fucking comments on that episode. Like, God, that virginity story was so fake. No, sir, one hundred percent real. Maybe my I only. Think, is I didn't think that it was too out of the realm of reality. Like it just it, that felt like a real. To be fair though, that did, in my opinion, I was like there was like a little fairy dust because it was like in the UK. So I imagine there was like flying brooms and you know all sorts of like <laughs> yeah, wizardly man, stuff just, going that's on. That's how it happens for everyone. Yeah, yeah. You go to Diagon Alley and lay pipe. I mm -hmm. just like that he imagined you staying late after work by lamplight, like crafting these stories about your backstory. Oh these yeah, these I'm like, wouldn't tracks. it be great if I like lost my virginity in an alleyway, <laughs> like an absolute fucking crackhead? Why? I but it, to be fair, I at the same time I feel like I could see I could see you doing something like that. <laughs> Uh, Tom is a man who draws by candlelight at night, which just confirms even more that he is part wizard or part witch or whatever the fuck you want to say. Yeah, I imagine, the, seeds I, were, the seeds were always there. It's just very yeah. psychopathically logical to lose your virginity <laughs> that way. You know? Yeah. There's a, there's yeah, a, like, there's a monetary like, incentive. There's a timeline. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, no, I, no. I, See, it's like you, a uh, it's like a beginning. It's like a, the beginning part to like a Criminal Minds episode. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, after to give that, people context who haven't <laughs> heard episode six, I lost my virginity in an alleyway. My brother, someone in my family, set me a time limit to yeah. lose it. <laughs> that's, and, a, that's a good save. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I, it was a bet if I did it in time, I got the money. Long story short, I did it just to give people context. The only place I could find to do it was an alleyway. And then they shafted you, right? You didn't even get the money. No, I didn't get all the money. It was supposed yeah. to be like fifty quid or whatever, and I got thirty. Well, and, with the performance yeah. in the story, I feel like that. I mean, that that's probably more than you deserve. That was <laughs> like, a public, that was a heroic Lord, I went, story. I fucking buildings overlooking me. I heard like cackling laughter <clears throat> after the deed was done. Like, yeah. like two women had seen had fucking seen it go down. Like Tr Charlie's. That's in the, not uh, enough. 
That's Tro not doing my fucking part. Trolleys and the sound of horses' hooves clacking on old brick roads and <laughs> <laughs> the cackling of East Londoners. Sweeney Sweeney Todd singing in the distance as he's slicing open a person's throat with a razor blade. At what like what how far would I have to have gone? I feel like you think I should have like laid pipe for like 30 minutes. Just fucking porn pornographic positions. Yes, I will admit I was scared, and it did. It wasn't <laughs> the most satisfying of moments. Listen, but when I you're, still I did something brave. Uh, it's definitely not the scared aspect. I think that I just feel like I'm not getting. I feel like I'm not getting a, a portion of it to where I feel like there's an element that makes it slightly not sexual that's pulled out of the story, which once again is like uh, I'm sorry I'm on Harry Potter kick because I just got done watching the movies because we're you know it's the day after December but or uh, Christmas but you know how like whenever they like pull little bits of memories from their minds I feel like you're that like one like uh, legally retarded guy that used to teach at the uh, Hogwarts that basically like told <laughs> that basically told Voldemort how to become immortal <laughs> or whatever you remember that part Is that what happened. Mm -hmm. Someone with Down syndrome taught Voldemort the secret yeah. to immortality. The yeah, you remember that? You just guy. need extra chromosome. <laughs> <laughs> and then he lost his nose. <laughs> You're retarded now, Voldemort. Well, the, 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 the best part of Voldemort's deal was that he also had a very Willy Wonka-ish name, which was Tom Riddle. And then he goes up to the loneliest, saddest guy who, like, drinks with students after class when they're, like, totally underage. And he's like, oh, <laughs> you know... What, what, You're pretty what, cute. What, what won't kill us will make us stronger, right, Tom Riddle? And he's like, sure, yeah, whatever. Uh, so I was wondering how I could become immortal. He's like, oh, it's a horcrux. You know, you just have to go around and you can split your soul. <laughs> I just immediately gave him the answer. And it's like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, dude? It's like, I guess that's supposed to be like super, you know, black magic bullshit or whatever. So. Well, he was clearly trading fucking wizard secrets for that young dick. Yeah, I like to imagine there was probably some sexual exchange. Like, he's like, well, I mean, I might have given him the secrets to mortality, but I pounded that sweet little ass for for, for, <laughs> for, like for 300 years. Well, he's, he's like, immortal, right? You, so. might have survived, you might have survived Voldemort, Harry, but I fucked it. I <laughs> fucked him hard. And that was before That's he right. was a gross snake creature. Well, there is, I mean, there is a lot of, like, sexual undertones with the whole fucking house of Slytherin and all the serpent nonsense that goes on. So I could see it. Is there? No. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say no. No, no not at all. No. We were actually gonna make a, 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 like a a retarded, like a Harry Potter special ed cartoon. Mm -hmm. we, That's I, right. we still need to make that, but like That's right. they must have retarded kids at Hogwarts. Like, what do wizards do with their kids who come out wrong? I was laughing pretty hard, uh, joking around with you guys about that. I remember that, that was a, that was Fuck, that's probably been like what three, like three months ago, maybe shorter. I, I don't it know. It was a while ago. The it problem feels was like, is the feels cartoon like was too complicated. Well, I think that it feels like it might have been a tad, maybe a tad insensitive too. <laughs> if I'm being completely <laughs> oh, honest, who gives a fuck? Yeah, no. Well, it was I just mean, because it was too probably, much work. probably the families with uh, Down syndrome children. I would imagine. Are they, <laughs> what, you know, are they avid Flash Kids fans? They're like, you know what? I'm gonna sink into today some you nice hate, cartoons you, you and hate, make fun of my son every episode. You hate to, you hate to hear it, but yeah, I think that the majority of your fan base is uh, are Down syndrome. I would imagine <laughs> Down syndrome. Well, then it right. makes it all right. We're servicing our audience. <laughs> They're fine with it. Yeah, they're just like, we love it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How, here's my question, Hunter. How yeah. is it you run a channel that routinely makes fun of people, mm. but you're also worried about upsetting them? I mean, that's a good, that, that is definitely the fine dance. I think there's just certain things that are like the unspoken thing of being like life has already shit on them so hard where it's just like, do you need, do we need to have another thing on top of the dog pile? Ah, uh, right. no, that's a fuck. That's bullshit. Fuck that shit. I don't right. buy it for a second. All right. Fuck those people extra hard because they're because they're asking for because <laughs> they're asking for a for a soft hand. No. If, if destiny and fate doesn't care for you, Tom Hinchcliffe doesn't. <laughs> it certainly will not. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like who, who is that man over in the children's burn ward? Oh, it's Tom Hinchcliffe. He's a animator. He's looking for material at the moment. It's like all these like <laughs> babies just burned and charred. You're like, oh, oh. <laughs> you need a. You don't. That's the problem. You don't have a voice for me, Hunter. <laughs> there you go. That's fair. <laughs> that that yeah. That's my that's my new Tom laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog's like, oh, oh, oh. and actually, when you guys 
uh, laugh and synchronicity. It's the perfect note to where you shit yourself. It's the brown note. It's the brown. It's brown noise. That's right. Do you guys ever watch that uh, that three D Beowulf movie? God, I saw it in the cinema. Worst decision of my life. Yeah, I remember for the time it looked really good. But to be fair, I think that the latest game console was the PS2. <laughs> so it was like. You're like, whoa! It was just a bad film too, man. Like, not even Angelina <clears throat> Jolie's nippleless boobies or like dragons was, and and well, Anglo-Saxons could could they say they say overlook it, how bad it was. They say it wasn't, you know, naked Angelina. But I mean, it's, it's like it's like if you saw naked Angelina Jolie in a game, it's like not real. You know, and you're like, eh, whatever. I wish they would have put her like super imposed her face because in the comic book. I think, or in the book, I had a comic of the book, so I always call it a comic book, but um, in the actual story, I'm pretty sure Grindel's mom was like a gross fucking, like, troglodyte troll, and I'm like, they should have put our super hot Angelina Jolie's face on, like, a really gross, like, bridge troll or something like that, and she's like, are you the one they call Beowulf? And then he, because I'm pretty, he fucks her, and I, I think the whole thing is that she's hot in the moment to, like, tantalize him to bear a seed, which turns into the what a, the dragon or whatever at the end but it would have been funny if she would have been like that really gross and then beowulf just fucked her anyways he's like i am and he just like tackles her down <laughs> and they just start making love so are you, are you saying like in the moment scene. she's really hot but then like afterwards she reveals her true form no hunter doesn't like that she was hot he didn't like that part of the movie Cause, well because because what i just said would have been like a really poignant and accurate representation of what sex is hmm. you know <laughs> In the moment, they're just super. <laughs> you're like, oh my! And then, like, the moment you're done, the oh, moment yeah, you're this, done, you're like, ugh. This movie honest. means something now. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the we've been a good metaphor. Yeah. The classic, the the classic and very coveted uh, post nut clarity, as they say, is a <laughs> more more, Dude, more, it, a, more, it's more like of a, eating McDonald's. During the a, moment, you're just like, oh, oh yeah, it's fucking delicious. And then you stop. You're like, why did as I do a, that? As a morbidly obese man, I have those moments <laughs> a lot with all sorts of foods and various things. I'm like, was it was it really acceptable as like a you know a 21 year old man to eat? Hunter, 50 you're not pizza 20. Rolls? You're not 21. You're not is 22. It, is it is it is it acceptable for a 17 <laughs> year old child to eat an entire 50 50 count combination pizza roll bag of uh, pizza rolls. Um, and in the moment, sure. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm hungry, you know, whatever. But then after you're done, there's a lot of shame that comes with that. A lot of shame, a lot of gross shame. Uh, and I felt that way, too, after having sex with some of the women I have in my life. And, you know, that happens. Yeah, no, I, I 100% get it. I would even say uh, because even necessarily that you can have sex with a conventionally attractive person, but after you're done, you still, you still feel... Like you're like, well, that's that's a shame. Well, that, well that's <laughs> that's after a... because after that you have to deal with their like personality. Yeah, which you know from this conversation we definitely have. We're definitely the ones swaying in the good personality section too. I'm not saying it has to be good. It just has to be interesting. What do you think is the ideal? Well, Tom, what I mean, I know that you found your soulmate, <laughs> but what what is the ideal scenario for a woman for you after you're done? With your three pumps and you're singing to the stars. That's actually what, that's actually very accurate. I'm definitely what, what, a two pump jump. What is the what is the best thing a woman could say? This was a good conversation I used to have with. Uh, there is only one answer, day. and it is good night. <laughs> wow, wow, that's romantic. That's like John Wayne. That's like a John Wayne kind of romanticism, where he's just like, "I'm gonna fuck you," and she's like, oh, "Okay," and then he like he like finishes, and he's like, "All right." Was that good for you? And she says, good night. And that's like his, he's just like, all right, good. And he just like goes to sleep. She <laughs> yeah, that's the dream, answer. man. That's the fucking night. dream right there. What, I yeah. mean, what else is there? What, what would you, what do you want? Do you want something like loving? Do you want something sexy? You want it to be all sultry? What do you want? I don't know. See, that's the thing is like, if it's too sexy, because you know how many times, you, I'm, I'm the kind of person where if after we have sex, this has happened, she's just like, that was great. I'm like, don't. All right, Hunter. You, 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 you don't need. You don't need to patronize me. No, I'm. I'm. I'm right there with you. I'm like, you. Don't, don't, don't. I'm like, all right. Listen, listen. I know who I am. Yeah, I know listen. what I'm capable of. Listen, that was definitely a, like a one way road. <laughs> like, but trust me. Like, I get it. Uh, and then sometimes I've had it to where they do something where it's like, what would it be? They say Is that it. No, even just being like, just being like nice or something like that. Or, <laughs> 
I don't know, whatever. Just like <laughs> nice. something, something weird where it's supposed to be them being funny, but I'm like, don't fucking ruin this moment, you bitch. <laughs> so I want to say is what I want to say. But I don't know. There has to be a sweet spot between the two. I feel like the only acceptable response after sex for me is if she's like, "Do you want to get a McRib?" That would probably be the that would probably be the, <laughs> that, the that's ideal the sweet thing. Spot I'd be like, "I'm like, I'm gonna marry, and I'm gonna romantic. marry this woman." <laughs> I want this woman as my soulmate. She's like sitting there, just like drizzled and cum and sweat, and she's just like, "You want to make rib?" Damn! Oh, like damn! It is that season, isn't it? What about you, Don? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on! Don't be like that. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. No, I'm kind of I'm kind of in a weird spot right now. I feel like I'm I'm trying I'm trying to not feel weird. I'm sorry to like completely destroy the momentum. I'm just sitting here and trying to re-engage. (laughs) <laughs> is, is, no, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm spectating. Yeah, Don just crumpled just, in like a black yeah, star. Yeah, Christmas pretty odd. You saving? The yeah, it was Christmas shepherds. strange, Don. It was Christmas straight. What does that mean? You tell me, Mister. Steal two German shepherds from someone's fucking backyard. Yeah, we. So I stole two German shepherds from a German guy who lives on the street. I wasn't treating them right, and now they're in our garage. I, this is, isn't I, made up. Mm-hmm. I hope I so you, was he not treating him right and you just took him <laughs> we were we were driving home and two German shepherds were in traffic and we picked him up and one of them uh, was like he had like a, a collar on that was super tight and a bit of rope that he chewed off so mm. they were tied up and starved basically they're both emaciated and the other one is pregnant um, so yeah they're in our garage right now right and I'm trying to rehome them today um I don't know, man. Just got a lot on my mind. Got two Nazi dogs in the garage. What did you name the dogs, Don? They called them Mary and Joseph. <laughs> Picked them up on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Picked them up on Christmas Eve. One of them's pregnant. They had nowhere to go. You, I, all I the, bet you enjoyed this closed. moment I did. far too much. I did. I, was, I bet you like were sitting in the car. They were in the fucking no, boot, was, and you were like, "This is a Christmas miracle." I was smiling to myself. Sitting with him. Did your yeah. did your like a tear go down your eye and you this, felt like this, such this, a beautiful human? This, well, no. I told you. No, no. What what I was doing is I was, and I am trying to build them Christmas plot armor so nobody puts them down when I get rid of them. You know, how can you put down Mary and Joseph from Christmas Eve and one of them's pregnant? Do you know what? It's retarded enough to work. I think it will. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine Americans like being like, "Oh, it's called Joseph and Mary. I can't fucking kill." Good lord, the karma. Well, you, well, you gotta, you gotta put them. You gotta, you gotta give them to some like, definitely like Christian, re- like Texans type deal or whatever, or some like redneck dudes. I've been like, what's his name? And he's like, yeah, Mary and Joseph and their kids. You know, it'll be Jesus Christ. He's like, god damn, <laughs> that's beautiful. That's fucking beautiful. Well, all right, well, we'll take them. Time they live a nice, healthy life. Uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Someone's wondering where their dog. I got went. so I got I got so derailed by Don's like <laughs> Don't par- Don just hey, par- I paradigm you, I shift. You, I told you to just you know you just pass me by, guys. Just pass me just by. Pass me by. <laughs> you can, okay, I don't want to hold the talk. You know, lost, it, that, that's kind of like fun. one of those things of being like. It's kind of like one of those things of, it's like that's not a fair answer of like, if I'm sitting there and you're like, hey, by the way, I have some really big news and it's gonna. It might shake the foundation of today's conversation. And then you come out and you're like, yeah, I strangled three kids to death. And I'm like, what? What? I'm like, I can't get past it. Well, I told you it was going to be weird. Like, I don't <laughs> like, what Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> Every time Don talks, Don, I hope you know, I look you mm-hmm. right in the, the, the eyes of the camera. I look right at your eyes. That's because I'll tell you something. Listener. Well, I am a good listener, but it's more of a curiosity. I'm like a little fucking, I'm a little monkey. I'm a little curious George because I sit there and I... When you talk, I would say the majority of the time when you talk, you look off into the distance as if you're looking at someone far away, trying to address a stranger from across the sea. Staring straight into God. <laughs> straight, yeah. just staring straight into God so that uh, <laughs> he may accept, he may accept uh, Mary and Joseph back into, back into uh, his, his welcoming arms. Yeah, it's, I, 70% chance they're going to be killed. They will, they will 100% be killed. Spiritual day for me. So, well, at least they got a nice meal beforehand. Did you make him a nice steak? No, but they, actually, they uh, th- my girlfriend had made like homemade dog treats that our dog loves, but they were too good for those. So they've just been having kibble. 
Your girlfriend. Yeah. You guys, you guys, uh, hearts are big enough to pick up two fucking crackhead dogs off the streets of Austin, but mm. not I big enough to give them yummy Christmas treats. Well, you know, we did give them treats, but they no. Didn't I think like he said the dogs didn't saying. accept. Oh, it. the dog wasn't good. Yeah, right. Which, I see. Which, which at that point, Don, if I saved a dog, which I will one hundred percent, you know, <laughs> throw I will it back say, out. <laughs> I will. I will say, very noble. I would have felt very sim. I my, I get way emotional about shit. And I, it fucks me up. Like, in movies, especially, like, if I see a dog die in a movie versus a human... And like, you can watch humans die all day, but when I see a, a dog die in a movie, I tear up. I tear up like a little bitch. But as soon as that dog isn't grateful and doesn't accept my gifts that I give to him, <laughs> I turn off the lights, I light about a 70-round fucking little chain of bobcats and I throw it in the garage <laughs> and I'm gonna light that son of a bitch up every five minutes until they accept my <laughs> gifts <laughs> and then you have neighbors calling you and stuff cause like what the hell is all these fireworks going off you're like yeah I'm training, I'm training these new dogs training these new dogs to accept my gifts I would have sped up <clears throat> you run them over well I wouldn't want to dent my car but if I didn't care about my car, yeah, I would have. I would have given him the the swift justice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, 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 I, I mean, I like, am, I am the executioner. <laughs> like just like revs the engine and like. Rrr. That's right. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I would have just. It wouldn't. It would be the same end without the prolonged bit in between where they have hope. Mm -hmm. So really, I'm mm. doing a good thing. Well, th this is the subtext of this conversation. Tom is looking at getting a dog. Not because he likes dogs. Don't get it twisted. But because I he thinks dogs. his wife needs protection. She does. Because she can't work on the visa she's on. And, and now you've now you've Neither her. of them like dogs. But he thinks he's going to get a Rottweiler. What yep. is it? A Rottweiler. Big dog. And it's going to live with two people who don't like dogs who are going to emotionally neglect it its entire life. <laughs> yeah, and he no thinks shit. it's going to be a nice dog that's not going to fuck good dog. somebody up. I didn't <laughs> yeah. say it was going to be nice. Be a good dog. Yeah, it, it's going to like, obey orders, which yeah, is better than nice. Yeah, yeah. So he's so he's he's <laughs> yeah, going to buy right. he's going to buy this like killing machine dog. He's going to emotionally nice. neglect it. He's going to spend thousands to get it trained so it doesn't attack someone. But that's still going to be quite difficult given its no. well. It's, it's not. It's and not going to matter. It's not going to matter when there's no emotional <laughs> feedback from your master. Things going to be a cold, calculated killing machine. It's gonna, like <laughs> it's going to grab hold of a fucking innocent child's arm and just rip that <laughs> son of a bitch off. And you're going to be like, "But we trained them. We trained them. We Biscuits, trained it. Get back He's here. a tool. He's a tool. <laughs> he is. He's a tool. It's going to protect me and my mm. wife <laughs> from danger. Mm -hmm. Well, no, that's mm. the other thing. He's going to protect your wife when she goes on hikes. Yeah. This is an 150 pound ball of muscle pulling your wife around who has like a leg problems <laughs> and you think she's going to be able to control it. She's going to teach it finish. Okay. Yeah. So it, it, it will obey her so every the, command. So, so, so <laughs> the only person that can gatekeep this dog is your fucking finish wife. <laughs> animal right. controls. Animal controls going to be like, stop! And your wife's fucking bleeding out because the dog had just like ripped off both of her fucking legs. I bet you, I, I have a horrible feeling, Tom, that this is going to end just like every doctor that has like a monkey in a cage and they like ask their assistant to go take care of it every time that happens <laughs> in life their face gets ripped off every well, time well well let me caveat the good news is i found out that is a path for me to own firearms so if the dog mm. puts one paw out of line one paw it can be taken care of very quickly <laughs> wow I feel like that would, <laughs> I don't know how, to, how appropriate that response even is. If the dog messes up one time, you're going to fucking gun it down in your house or in the, <laughs> in, the, in the streets on a trail. Imagine it's just like, it barks like one person, Tom's just like, all right, sorry, boy, and just like, bam. <laughs> it's like, well, well what well, is it, boys? We'll is again. it going to rip my wife's legs off or is it going to be a good boy? Because it's not. I'm saying, it's, right it's, now. It's, it's, it, no, it's fucked it's, all around. It's eating saying. my wife's legs. It's, I have to shoot the dog. If it's being right. a good boy, then there's no worries. Well, hopefully before the before your wife has her legs ripped off, as soon as she, he starts to attack, you would probably take action. It'd be kind of funny if you waited, though. You're like, all right, well, we'll see if he takes off the leg <laughs> before, we, <laughs> before we put him down, but we'll see. Uh, here's, here's I the real the deal. Dog's gonna be all fucked all sillies aside, here's, here's the real deal. I know a dog needs a certain amount of pets and attention oh my God. to be a functioning animal. 
which it will get because it I know it needs them. You're just keeping tallies. All right, I pet him 20 times, so he's not going to... The dog is fucking gonna stupid, Don. It's not going to know the difference between my, between my fake love pets and real love pets. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like dogs are actually pretty smart in that regard. I'm going to try and find a really dumb dog. <laughs> the dumbest dog I can find. <laughs> the dumbest, most dangerous dog you can find. The dumbest, biggest, dangerous dog. Well, I'm not getting a pit bull, am I? Yeah. I mean... And then Rottweilers three, are way bigger well, than pit bulls. Maybe you will. No, but I'm, we're talking about brains, not brawn right now. I mean, it, yeah, I still think they're still not very are. ranking. I don't you think Rottweilers are dumber than than pit bulls? I don't think they rank. No, I don't think rank that they what? rank. I think I think that I all think dogs are relative. Dog. I think. Oh no, they're not are... smart, but they're not as dumb as a pit bull. I don't That's think pit bulls are even. I don't even think pit bulls are dumb. I think pit bulls are pretty smart dogs. They're super. They're just, they're aren't just, they, they're don't they account for like almost all the dog bites? They do, like but if you look, if you look at if you look at where like the bites are coming from, it's coming from like you know places where they're just chained up outside. They're probably neglected. They're probably not raised right. I've had a pit bull before, and it's like super loving. They How can the really fuck great. can you get bit by a chained dog? <laughs> at that point, it's your fault. Is exactly the mentality that we're concerned about. Who's we? <laughs> if I chain it up, how is it supposed to bite anybody? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? You say, how the fuck is a chained up dog going to bite anyone? No, 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 special child. What I said is, how are people getting bitten by chained dogs? Like, if the dog is chained up, how are you getting close enough to it no, to, he's, to get he's, bitten by he's it? He's saying if you have a dog that is perpetually neglected emotionally mm. and in every other way, then yeah, it's even not if it be is a nice dog. Even if it is chained up, I would say the majority of time is people have backyard parties or something. They're put in an environment to where at any time that dog will lunge out and bite like a child or bite somebody. Um, well, he needs to get the taste of human flesh anyway. So if, if it happens, it happens. It would be funny if like when you first got him, you're like to gain his respect, you like cut off a piece of your thigh or just like shaved off a piece Feed of your skin. Feed it to him. And, and we are one now, him. boy. And just be like, you know what I taste like. And you like cut off a bit of his thigh. And it's like, I know what you taste like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that could be the respect that you have for each other. That's right, exactly. I love pit bulls, man. Pit bulls are, I, I, I like them. <clears throat> you look like big a guy chunky that likes heads, pit bulls. big soft eyes. They're really good with people. Yeah. They're really good with people, they're but really they bite everybody. People. Famously good with people. Yeah, famously, famously good. You say it's all because they're like mm. locked up and chained up. But I feel like there's plenty of other dog breeds that have the same a level of ne neglect and still don't fucking bite people as much as pit bulls. Yeah, I gotta diverge with you there, Chief. I think. Uh... The evidence is stacked. Yeah, well, the other way. No, not to, not to diminish anything you're saying. To talk I, I tell you, I tell you this. I'll tell you this. A neglected dog, regardless, is like <clears throat> to blame the dog just because it's like, well, th this dog, more often than not, is neglected. Feels like a wrong assessment of the of the character of the dog when it's like I I would say the every pit bull I've ever come across that had a loving owner was just nothing but a sweetheart. You can't but you can't just blanket discount like the genetic temperament of the dog. Like like a Labrador is just never gonna bite people as much as a pit bull. Well yeah, but if you're looking at protection stuff, it's I mean I, I don't expect oh, fucking no, no, I am, to, but like or can't. Marley and me to protect me. I'm talking about I, if you I want a fucking brute and yeah, you know what? Yeah, he's a little off the chain. That's why I got him. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got there. What, what, I, I, want, like, I want fucking Owen Wilson's life, Marley and me. No, dude, I want to be in like the fucking thick of it. I'm a little pepper on my dog. You know what I mean? I want a little spice. Your I dog to... looks like a 70 year old man. <laughs> I, hey, my <laughs> my my guard dog is ferocious, and people quiver at the, at the sight of him. He is a he is a very threatening beast, yeah. and he does he does he does resemble that of a ninety year old man. He looks like somebody that is like if there's any living people that were on the Titanic, that's what my dog looks like. <laughs> if, there, if there's any any being on Earth that was on the Titanic that survived it, he looks just like him. Are you uh are you gonna get uh, well? Big news, everybody. After much flip flopping, Hunter has said he is one hundred and ten percent moving down to be with the boys. So 110. are you going to get a house instead of an apartment for your doggies? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Very nice. 110%. One of the main luxuries of when you have a dog is if you have a house, just opening the back door to let him out. Having to leash your dog and take him out in an apartment complex just sucks dick. I hate it. Back in back in Missouri, when I had my house, it was just, it was great. You know, they whine, they're by the door, they tell you you need to take a shit. You open it up, you let him go out. It's the best, uh, it's the best system. Versus, it's kind of early in the morning. I don't want to have to, you know, it's kind of chilly. You know, I don't want to put pants on. Maybe have like a little bit of, 
Maybe I have a little piss, a little bit of shit in my pants or something I haven't cleaned up yet. I just don't want to, I'm not ready for the day. I don't want to have to go outside yet. Mm. Um, so that, that, that becomes the hurdle. And I'll tell you something, as stupid as it sounds, that was 60% of the reason of being like, yeah, I think I'll, I think I can get lost. <laughs> <laughs> was it, was it? <laughs> nice. Well, or, I'll take it. Whatever it takes. Are you, uh, you, you, ex- are you boys excited to, to make a sexy menage a trois in this house? I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, yes, I am excited. Good, good input. <clears throat> How about you, Don? Yes, yeah, I, I'm also excited. Whew. All right, I'm me excited. too. I'm I'm big into this. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to see how we can evolve our shit into maybe doing more things and like how 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 can we collectively come together to make new shit that isn't just cartoons that people would like. You basically just want me to like film you and make videos no about no you. no no well one i told you that i want to get a camera person or an editor that like uh-huh. w- that would work in the house or something and then you were like i oh, but he would just make him his drinking buddy or whatever and i'm like that's Truth. fine bitch make him my drinking buddy i don't give a fuck also metallica's whiskey's very good i got that for christmas <laughs> oh yeah Blackened nice whiskey congrats what'd you get for christmas donny oh uh, i got a grill nice Ooh, what kind of grill <laughs> it's uh it's got a charcoal side and a propane side I haven't no, had a grill in like a year and a half. I'm pretty. Well, what? What is that? Yeah, you just don't. Why? Why even have the propane side? What good yeah. is propane going to give you? Well, uh, convenience. Nothing. I that, that, that blatantly, it's the, the point. I'll tell you what's the best gift you can give a man our age is a thirty dollar Chicago. Uh, is a ch- Chicago? It's just a thirty dollar Weber grill. Mm. You can't be beat. Best. Yeah, gift I was, you can I was give actually. I was thinking of getting one of those, but uh, I'm I'm pleased with the propane. The practicality of a $30 Weber grill is so universal. You know how many times I've been on a float trip and we've had a Weber grill in the center of the canoe? Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Being able you have to a just... fucking grill in the center of a kayak. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, well, it's not a wooden kayak. It's like, they're, they're always metal. Oh, yeah, yeah, in that case, I suppose it's fine. What about a little Aaron yeah. Wave tips the fucking... <laughs> tips the grill onto your lap? Mm. Well, you put it in the middle and you sit in, on both corners. So if it, if, it, if it bumps over, it's not going to get you. Now, another thing you can do is uh, you can always do the nice duct tape method, but you got to be careful because if you have if you if you make the if you have too many coals, it gets too hot. It'll melt the tape, the the, the, the duct tape. So you have to get yourself a nice just a, a nice perfect amount of charcoal where it just gets a little a little warm on the outside, and then you. And then, you, and then you tape the lid on. So even if it's a little bump, it can tip over, but the thing doesn't go all over the place. But that's just because if you want to make it to where you don't have a cleanup for later. Otherwise, sometimes you have you, you have some spills. As long as the food doesn't get out and you still have some nice little grub for when you're drunk and you're, you know, on the river and you're just hanging out, that's uh, that's A-OK in my book. L- little, little mess never hurt anybody. Are you gonna, uh, you're going to transform this office in ways I'd never <laughs> foreseen, and I'm already starting to regret it. Yes, <laughs> I like how all I've, all, all I've said is I enjoy a $30 Weber grill. <laughs> okay, no, that's not all, all you said. You said you canoe with Weber grills whilst drunk. And duct tape to your canoe. Duct tape nope. to your canoe. <laughs> One it's a first, float trip. One it's of my first trip. remarks in your studio was it looks like a dirty pizza box. And I'm, well, if the door's closed, why do you care? Well, if, oh, he's got a point. Yeah, if, if our building is your building, then our building is your dirty pizza box. I would never make any com- communal spot gross because that's disrespectful but at the same time if i don't give a fuck like on my desk right now i have like a couple of starbucks cups or something like i just i mean you know whatever at the same time it's like my space who gives a shit you guys aren't coming in and if you do come in then we're gonna have problems stay out of my room dad i'll tell you uh i found some nice uh blueprint activated light uh doorknobs on amazon 100 bucks a piece i thought it was a steal blue blueprint like blue yeah no, no, no. It's like a, it's like, it, like you can, it's like a, kind of like the, how the F- iOS or the, it's like a, fi- it's like a f- fingerprint thing, but it also has a Bluetooth activation from your phone. And also it has a digital numerical code if you want to do that too, but it, it locks it so you can unlock it from your phone or from your fingerprint or from the, the digital code. So thing. are we putting, are we putting these in every door in the, in the office? <laughs> I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to, I'd like to put it on every door 
Uh, and if not every door, then I wanted to do it in the in, in like special bathrooms, bathrooms <laughs> where it's like if we have visitors, you can't you're like hey, what's up with this door? Ah, it's a weird one. So then it's like you have one bathroom that's just holy, and that is it can only be activated by people that have the special fingerprint or know the code. And I think I thought that would be Dude, nice. Dude, who who is coming into this house who has a more disgusting fucking asshole than the three of us? Who is gonna sully our perfect holy shit site? <laughs> it's already you, fucked. <laughs> It's gonna look like one of those toilets in the Paris subway. No, I think it's more. I think it's more primitive. I think it's more ape-like. My my thoughts here of when when I shit, I plenty of times I've I've sat there at somebody's house, and even in their own house, I designate a toilet that I always shit in. <laughs> this is always. mine. That's and my it's like becomes more tranquil. It becomes mine. Even though I'm in someone else's house, that's 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 the toilet I use. And also to know that there's only th- you know three people using it. That becomes even more tantalizing of, you know, more clean, makes you feel nicer when you have a shit, more relaxed. It's always, it's, it's just gonna, a better situation. I mean, if you're, if you're a territorial man about your bathrooms, there's going to be a fight on your hands. Because no, Don's bathroom not... is the size of a small mansion, and like, within his bathroom there is a separate room just for the toilet. And it's like a little poop closet, <clears throat> and you actually, can hide from people in it. I hate that toilet. Actually. You hate it? Yeah, it's tiny. Like a little I figured. I figured this is something I was going to throw awesome out. Awesome to me. Yeah. No, Which I mean, whatever. Like way forward. You know. I imagine you guys. You guys have first dibs since you already live at the house or whatever. But I was thinking you could turn that big biggest room into the writers' room. That way, also, it has the biggest bathroom, more people there, more of a communal space. Am I I'm wrong? Sorry, but that room has already been requisitioned for green screen. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool too. I guess I just it, 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 the biggest room. I wanted to be like the most communal area. Type well, you, we could make the living room a writer's room. Yeah, that big space. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I'm down with that too. That would work. Oh yeah, I've been fucking man. I've been so excited and curious as to what we would use all the rooms for because there's like more space than we need for sure. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, it's just I think the fact of the matter is like right now. I think it's just right now we all multitask so much in one room that it feels kind of claustrophobic. So I think like branching everything out will feel nice. Oh, it fucking sucks. <laughs> We've got the green screen next to our desks, so Tom's shooting ads while I'm trying to make cartoons and like bump in my chair with like the lights and shit and. You know. It'll be nice. It'll be nice too that whenever all that stuff's out of there, you guys can actually put some like shit up in your 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 workspace. I yeah, feel like uh, man, uh, I'm uh, I'm decor. fucking hyped for it. Seriously, yeah. like, even gonna... ju- even even just setting up these three shelves with that kind of stuff just makes it feel like a more uh, like a fun space to be in. We're gonna like fucking poster bomb the gym room with like '80s t- chicks with their tits out. It's gonna be like yeah. the whole gym. Eighties chicks and then like just like old old like eighties Lamborghinis and shit. And like and Ferraris. like <laughs> photo and like posters of Arnie in Predator with his like top off. Yeah. I can't nah. wait. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Gotta put them on the ceiling above the bench. Ooh. You know? Like that's the nice. Yeah. No, no, you want a ceiling, or you want a ceiling uh, mirror. <laughs> so then when you're doing your, pu- you're so doing it can your drop bench on pumps. you and decapitate you like a fucking guillotine. <laughs> you, you sit there and you, you you pump it up, and then you just you can just see yourself screaming and give yourself the ultimate pump. Ah! And then you can finish out a rep. That I I would 100 percent be up for that. Except I don't want to die. Yeah. You paranoid little bitches. In it, I'm just like, I put it up it. myself with some duct tape. <laughs> like okay. I would. I'll I'll get the Weber grill. I'll get the duct tape nice and moist. <laughs> There's a Weber grill in get, the gym. It, get, That's right. Yeah. I gotta get my burgers. protein. Nothing but lean meat in here. That's right. It's gonna be fucking sick. I'm excited. But yeah, I don't know. We can have a little podcast table with drinks holders. Well, Don, I was gonna say if you ever have some time, I was like, I'd be down. We can make a nice custom podcast table together. <clears throat> yeah, Sit absolutely. There. Well, we should make the whole some- thing. We could we could build like a set. I'm kind of. It's a little disappointing because I. You know, anticipating you never actually coming here, I had planned this giant elaborate set to show up your set. Yeah, don't come, dude. I don't think it's actually going to happen, though. Like, I don't. We know can where combine we forces now, though, can't we? Uh, I suppose. Well, here's the fucking deal: is we we can get rid of this 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 halving. We can get rid of this meat canyon and flash kit shit and actually make it like ice cream themed and have a cream crew yeah. set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I, what I dream fun. of. Because yeah. I imagine that I'll have like my Meat Canyon sign just in my room. Because I imagine I'll probably just have to stream from that room and stuff. Yeah. Or, or I might just make my streaming room back in my house. Or whatever. So, huh? That'd that be interesting. interesting. Or whatever. So that would um, suck. You would want to like drive between houses <clears throat> just to stream. I feel like I sh- well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I probably stream from two places or something. But I, I guess it would just be. 
I feel like I stream at very odd times. Like I, I like to stream really late at night. Well, I, I don't know. I guess just whenever I want to feel like I want to be home, I want to feel like I still have the option to like, you know, do some shit, but still just be like at home versus just only. Well, you're, you're a, I've never in my life had like a separate place from home to go work. I've always worked right. like from my own domicile. So right. as a man right. who has experienced that, I think Don's the same. You haven't either, right? So as a man who's experienced it, is it, what's it, how, how do they measure up? I mean, I, I, no matter what, I think that in any regards, I think that in, in like, it, even if you're not like making tons of money, having a separate spot to have to drive to will make you more productive. I think that also that it makes the spot that you work like it's like more productive and i think that like you utilize your time way more but at the same time sometimes it can feel like you know you it, you get in that zone of like wanting to be kind of wanting to be in the pocket of like i don't want to go in today but still feel like you're doing something so it's nice to have that kind of at work home deal of feeling like you kind of are cheating the system a little bit it's like a psychological win in an odd way hmm. um which i you know just from my experience of like working like construction or something, being able to like stay home and work or something. It just, it, it's like an odd win for yourself. Oh, I do. Doesn't that's mean funny. It, I do that. Like when <laughs> I do that already and to get that little, like, Oh, I'm working from home thing. I just stay in my room. If I'm like writing a script for an ad, <laughs> yeah. I like just don't walk into the office and I'm like, ah, oh, today's and kind it, of different. And it becomes so much more elevated when you don't have to drive somewhere. And so like when you don't have to get in your car and drive, you know, like little routines, like I'd always like stop by this gas station and grab a coffee and like talk with this guy. Um, just being able to like even just skip that in the morning feels like you're already like, you know, short, shortcutting your like day. Um, yeah, which I, I don't think that will even be living that far. I, I, my, I think I had like a 20 minute drive to my old studio for my old house, which isn't bad by any means because I like listening to music in the morning or whatever. I don't mind the drive, but I don't know if I'll be living that far from where our thing will be yeah it'll, it'll, it'll probably be like a it'll probably be like a same town situation i want to keep it to like 10 minutes that'd be cool so it's gonna be exciting man it should be cool hopefully we're all still like feeling good and creative and our channels haven't just nosedive again and we can we can we can feel like we uh you're already we laying have, the groundwork uh, to stuff. pull out of this merger mm -hmm. <laughs> No, no, no I, th I think it'll be good. Like, I just hopefully want, everything's still I want great. I want to feel like a, like a like a nice renaissance, as it were. Yeah, I don't think we'll nose dive again unless YouTube pulls the plug on us because we're just making yeah. cartoons now and like everyone loves cartoons. Yeah, man, you guys got uh, you got the system, you got the system down. Uh, work regiment and stuff. I think that the only thing that can happen is as long as we keep making shit that we like and as we keep growing and just hiring more people, it can only become more streamlined and just become better, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think at the, the, this point, too, I think a lot of channels fuck up is that they don't invest into their, into their, you know, their content and shit. So as long as you can, you know, somehow keep evolving with the growth, I think that it can, I think it'll be good. What are you implying? Regardless of the, huh? What are you implying? Nothing, really, just that... As hopefully as time grows, we can keep, I don't know, getting more money for the stuff, keep getting more people to work on stuff, seeing if there's any other kind of ventures we can get into. Like if I made enough money, I would love to have just a, a, a dude that I Fuck. would would hire to film like at all times. He's just like on a salary. And then I could have like a behind the scenes thing. Would that not be channel, like creepy as shit? Another... You like, you fucking turn around and there's a guy behind you. You just no, forget I mean, about him. I mean, re realistically, he opens the shower asshole. Curtain and he's just there. <laughs> I wish. Actually, no, I would like that. I'm like taking a shit and I'm like, are you outside the door? And he's like, fuck. He's like getting all pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm like, I want you to hear my farts and my shit coming my, out of my asshole. Yeah, I don't um, know. It'd, it'd be weird to me to have some guy follow. P people don't need to see the ugliness, Hunter. You give them, you give them a nice little vignetted slice of your life and everyone's like, oh that guy's so so awesome but then if they see the real the real stuff it's ugly yeah i agree i agree i i misspoke i guess when i said recording everything i guess it meant just i, know, I, like, I was just having fun i yeah having, I uh, <laughs> ha ha having just the uh recording of i don't know the process without having it be boring because i mean animation is so fucking boring that's like you would i think it'd be funner to just see what did you do in between that <laughs> versus like people are always like oh what's the character design like you would like that for like one episode 
And then you would be like, this is the same shit over and over again. Yeah, I was, yes. I was actually yes, amazed when we did live action shit how much we stretched the same concept video <laughs> after video. Well, we did keep finding new parts of the thing, though. Yeah, I've always felt like it was like, it was yeah. like, may have been the same production, but it was different parts of the production at least, right? That just couldn't last forever, though, you know? There's yeah. only so many parts to what we do that are interesting at all, so. <laughs> well, my birthday's coming up in uh, four days. How old are you going to be? <laughs> 23. 23 years young, eh? I'm going to dox Hunter. He's 27 this December. Nope. 23. Okay. What are you gonna get? 20... What are you gonna get? I feel like I ask you that, and you're like, "Oh, presents." I'm fifty years old, but presents are literally the only thing worth living for, and I don't understand. Well, why the thing you don't is, I don't them. know. I, at, at this point in your life, it becomes more of like something that is. If somebody gets you a gift, it's like, it's not. I don't think it's inherently anything expensive as much as it is like a like more of a just a sentimental thing. So it's like I don't. I'm not gonna ask for anything. So it's not like I'm like, oh, you know, I'm looking forward to this. So if anybody gets me a thing, it's just going to be a surprise. Like, I don't know what it is. But I'm, I, I love gifts. I'm a big gift guy. But at the same time, I don't ask for anything. But I'm the kind of guy where, like, if somebody gets me a funny mug, I go into, like, middle-aged man, like, overly, like, <laughs> that, that's great. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. That's me. Well, is that on purpose, gonna... or are you putting up a front? No, no, no. I think it's on purpose. I think it just, like, it, it's kind of like whenever you're at, like, a restaurant and you, like, give the fake nice voice back to the person giving you the fake nice voice. Uh-huh. All right, have a great day. Oh, yeah, you do. Type deal. It's like that back and forth type deal. We've we've got a, like we've I, got I, a contract I, 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 I between me and Don where we just refuse to buy each other presents. Yeah, it was good. And it's, you know, that wasn't a that's contract a that I drew up. I was going to say, you talked about, I hate presents, but you're the one that's introduced this treaty, which you violated this year. I didn't violate like jackass. it. I didn't violate the treaty. Mm -hmm. My wife violated the treaty because she's a woman and her instincts went crazy and she <clears> had to buy presents. So Tom's, I, I Tom's thinking that. on presents, which is actually difficult to refute, is why would I buy you something and you buy me something when we could just both buy the thing that we want with our own money, if we're both spending money? Well, I mean, that, that also makes it seem like the gift is something that you need versus something that is like a gift that like would just meant like, I thought about you. And this made me think of you, and I got you this. That's the That's worst part of our presence, though, is having to think of something. That just, once again, just shows more and more how I'm pretty sure you're a legitimate robot. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I talk to you, the the life, the void of life just grows larger and larger. Like, I just feel like, you, I, like it, it takes no, like, the mental thought to give somebody, like, something to somebody that you like is a fun experience. <laughs> Especially if, like, like, if I was looking at Don... You, you could give Don a, a joke gift. If I saw something, I saw like a really nice hammer that was just custom made, and I was like, yeah, it's just made by this like R Bulvarian guy, and it was like $50, whatever, but it's like still something I'm like, that would be cool to give this person. It's mm -hmm. like a nice thought. It doesn't have to be pride. If I, if I gave every person a practical gift that isn't a child, that's like, I get like this. This child's like, well, the only reason he's going to get this is because he like physically can't have a job then it just feels odd. I feel like it should be more of like just the thought that counts. And if you're around the person, it should even be a thought because you just know. I, I mean, maybe you don't put much thought into it and your brain is tiny. And so it's no problem for you. But with a brain this big and complex, <laughs> no. the, the Damn, absolute yeah. fucking lapse I have to run around in my mind to come up with the perfect exquisite gift is just not worth. It's just not worth it. You know? <sighs> I feel like you're making a way bigger deal than what it is. The perfect exquisite gift. Like you want somebody to come and cry and laugh and I'm get sorry angry for being a good friend, I gift. guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good friend. That's a good friend. Telling it telling everybody how big your brain is and then saying you're not gonna get a gift. Who said I was your friend, Hunter? I'm clearly talking about Don. Well, okay, no, I, so I we, we had we had this treaty running since you got here, since you moved like two or three years ago. Yeah, you right? love the treaty. Yeah. Don't tell and me then, you, you don't you're not you don't so, enjoy it. So on Christmas morning he sends this message it's like, Hey, there's like a bunch of gifts under our tree if you go get them, uh, you know, and open them and stuff. And then like we read those and we, yeah, you know. And ignored them. Well, yeah, because... I, and then lied about ignoring them. them. Like, what the fuck? Well, I did the little... I didn't read the whole thing. I got the gist, because uh -huh. I did the little ignore module on uh -huh. iPhone, where I can read it without Why'd reading Why'd you do that and expect me to not know? Oh, I knew you knew. I then just why not just look at the messages? Because I didn't fully read it, because it was too long. That's what it I said. It was three sentences. 
<laughs> it was much too long. So, I had okay, no time. Okay. So, so we're like, Ooh. well, you've bought, you've bought us. I didn't six things. I didn't buy you anything. And we got my you nothing did. because of this treaty. I didn't so buy you like, anything. Oh, what though. the fuck do we do? Like, was there some miscommunication? And then he comes out. What the fuck do we, we do? We've got, we've got like this like loft space, and he comes out. In our like Christmas area was below the railing, and he comes out of his room and looks down at us from the railing and, and said, "Why are you ignoring my messages? Why are you ignoring my messages? Don't you want to open my presents? Don't Not you want to presents. open all six of our presents that we got you?" And then, yeah, so we, you know, opened them, but I've got nothing to give you back because you hate presents. I love presents, but also I didn't break the treaty. My wife bought those without my knowing. What do you want from you me? Know be, you know what I would have gotten you guys for Christmas this year? A divorce? Don, I would have, I would have literally found, I would have found a, like a, a nice hammer. Like a really nice hammer. It would have been dope. I know this one guy, and I'm pretty sure he's a Bulvarian dude. He's like, what he does, what, he, he, he makes, he makes yeah, custom handles, everything. Action, it's great. No, that Tom, I would, I would have, I would have gotten you a really you sick, did. I would have given Don, or Tom, a really sick, like, black metalish handcrafted candle holder so you can put your candles in that and it would look awesome that, thank you that would have been lovely see doesn't take that that's as hard as that is yeah i mean and that's, I, and the, it's, it's not and you know what i would i wouldn't even okay. wrap it i would just hand it to you i uh, see you, you gotta wrap it or get your wife to wrap it no no that's no the fun. i like you know what i like it well it's because it's a gift oh my god you know what i hate is when somebody gives you one of those bags with the shit in it, and they're like, here, open it. It's like, you couldn't just give me the fucking thing? It doesn't make it any more... Sp if I walk in with a hammer, and I'm like, this is for you, that's still just... That's probably more surprising than me walking in with a bag, because then you're like, oh, what am I going to get? If I walked in with a really nice hammer, Don, and I was like, by the way, bud, Merry Christmas. No, you want the experience of opening it. Probably pretty special. Like, <laughs> like tearing it apart, and you get all dopamine hits in your head, because you're doing it. Yeah, you need that. The only the, the only time that I would wrap something is if you could blatantly see what it is. So it's like I wrap the hammer, but it's like the hammer has such a distinct shape. Where I'm like, there you go. Hey, I wonder what that is. You huh? just you encase it in <laughs> resin. You're like, boy, if only you had a hammer to <laughs> yeah. smash this resin open and retrieve your hammer. <laughs> you have two hours and like sprint out of the room. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Were they nice yeah. presents? Were they thoughtful? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what, the presents that you got? I you didn't know, get you anything. That your wife got me? That's right. I suppose she got me a box, a box of cereal that I eat all the time. <laughs> and Ooh, that's a, a good, I like uh, that. A, a bag of popcorn. Which you've wanted? Which, yeah, which I asked for, didn't I? You did? Yeah. Now, a bag of popcorn, is it like a, he like just a microwave did, thing? Or he something? just nice admitted that he asked made. for it. I, he broke the treaty. I it did, was him that broke I, it. You're right. You were like, I want popcorn. Tom's not going to buy me anything. Tom won't buy me popcorn. Yeah, I really want to buy <laughs> Use some, your back really channel. some popcorn. Use your back channel. I'm boy. I also love giving gifts that people just, I know, will not like. You ever do that? Watch them you ever give somebody no. a gift and just... Mm -hmm. You know how many Chili's gift cards I've bought? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and it's like, you could actually use them. I'm like, you did, did some, the money's on there. And it's like always like a really uncomfortable mouth, like $15. It's like, you see, so it's like, you could really only eat for yourself if you wanted to. <laughs> like, it's about it. <laughs> so it's like, you take somebody, you're still paying something. It's like, kind of just, you get a free, like one free meal from Chili's. Yeah, that's, I, uh, that's I mean, I, I guess I could see like making people feel bad. As an interesting Christmas experiment. <laughs> you can give somebody something where it feels like it was such a last minute idea, but really it was so, there was so much like fun thought of being like this. It, what's probably the most disappointing gift card you could get and making that an experiment. Mm. That's always fun. I've given my dad a gift card to Starbucks maybe like three or four times and my dad does not go to Starbucks at all, like, ever. Uh, my dad's the kind of person where he will refuse to spend money out at, like, restaurants. He just doesn't get... He just always... Everything's always at home. So I always give him gift cards to where it's like, you have to go out, and then continuously when I speak to him, or, like, per, you know, periodically or whatever, I will always ask how how that gift card... how If he's using a gift Does card. Does he know that you're and fucking I, with him? No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> It's kind of like that old person thing where it's just like they, they don't understand sarcasm, like this new age of sarcasm and stuff. <clears throat> like the, 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 the extent of like comedy they understand is like Andrew Dice Clay, Madison Square Garden in like 1982. It's like riddles basically, just like fun rhymes and shit. Or oh, what's that guy who was in uh, Roxanne like with the gray hair? Steve, what, what movie was- Steve Oh, Martin. the jerk? 
You're talking about the jerk, right? I don't know. That's probably that was that was a great Steve Martin comedy movie. Oh, well, there the you jerk. go. You did know who I was talking about. Yeah, but I don't think my dad was the kind of guy. My dad was the kind of guy of like he would go and see Lisa Lampanelli and he saw Larry the Cable Guy like seven times live, <laughs> which was still very out of like very uncharacteristic. It, do, you, do you see everybody was getting mad at Tom Cruise because there's like that audio clip of him freaking out that like people on the set of this movie weren't wearing masks and they're like, what a, what a drama queen. I'm like, I mean, you could probably be mad about that, right? Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. Yeah, were people mad? I thought he was being applauded. No, no, I think people were, like, saying that he maybe, was... Maybe, maybe happening, on the uh, Reddit boards you visit. No, all, all that's happening is you guys are, yeah, you're, like, exposing the bubbles you live in right now. <laughs> yes. Hunter's like, all my friends were yelling... <laughs> all my friends. Curse word at him and fucking calling him the devil. And Don's like, I, I thought I everyone know loved about, it. I only know about this just from, uh, like, when it was trending on Twitter. That's just how I read about it. Yeah, but your Twitter recommendations yeah, your, are somewhat influenced by what you look Twitter. at. Twitter, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but isn't the hashtag covered by like everybody? So if people are using the hashtag, you see everything. Like, I mean, I'm sh I, I saw both sides. It's just I saw primarily. Well, I just empathize with like, what, what, what a what a drama queen. I just yeah, I actually didn't realize there was another side like at all, and I, I didn't go looking for it. I just get like my little news things, which are you know obviously massively tilted left, like the Apple news things. But oh yeah, so, and the Twitter on. thing oh, is the that shit? I just check it for like COVID news. You know, yeah, I I, I check the Twitter things way. to see if I I think I I check Twitter news more of anything to see who died. There's mm. I've, every day they they talk about. I, I feel who died. like it will trickle to you somehow eventually. And one day, one day I'm gonna see somebody that I really like. Don Gregor like has James, died. The, 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 it's gonna it's gonna, gonna be like, get into your hashtags. I feel like I feel like I'll smile because I'll know that he's like happy. <laughs> <laughs> he's finally he's finally yeah, happy. I'll be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, he's he's, he's with he's, his German shepherds at the pearly gates. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Has like a heavenly stick that he like throws in there and they're like, oh, chase it. <laughs> That's right. There'll be twenty litters of puppies. It's going to be a great moment. That sounds really nice. I feel like yeah. One I day I'm going to sit it. there and I'm everything's going. Yeah, I'm going to step, step away from the light. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see. Uh, I'm gonna see like James Hetfield died, and it's not gonna get any attention because you know it's an older band or something. Yeah, James Hetfield gonna, when he I'm, dies, the world's barely gonna notice. Yeah, no. Yeah, oh, really. I mean, there, there was no, clearly not. No, I mean, I read a uh, like all the people, the people we lost this year article, and right, and Van Halen was a fucking afterthought. He was like at That's the end because of the article. Who cares? It's Van Halen. Metallica yeah, is like the awesome. biggest metal band in the world. Mm. It, Eddie, I think Van Halen, Van Halen is probably is, way, I would say, on par with how big Metallica is. I, I'd say I disagree. I'd say they're bigger than Metallica. Nah, 100%. maybe with Boomers. I don't think I, I. I don't think they're. I don't think they're bigger than Metallica. But I think that like they definitely album sales wise are probably comparable. I mean, dude, in the like in the seventies and eighties, Van Halen was fucking huge, huge, huge. Yeah, big, but big, like big. even Lemmy, that was like everyone that was, knew like, Lemmy died. First, huh? Everyone knew Lemmy died. Yeah. So why not have? Well, I think. I'm not, well, I'm not arguing. I mean, I'm not I, arguing. You won't be a blip, but I'm just saying. No, I mean, like, I, I think Eddie I, Van I, I mean, Halen I, dying would be a way bigger deal than Hetfield. Yeah, I mean, he had like and it wasn't pop, that big. It, there was he was a he was a pivotal person in like pop culture, even like his guitar and stuff, like yeah. everything. Does that, does that stuff people, ever make you think about like, you know, like Ozzy Man Mandias? Is that it? You're just everything you're building is just going to crumble under mm -hmm. the weight of like time. I mean, always, yeah. Yeah. We'll never be, none of, nobody in, in the world now will be remembered the way that people were back in the day because we don't know much about them. Like Alexander the Great, like Mozart and shit, will forever be remembered because we have so little about them. Well, also versus because like, like Alexander the Great conquered like the whole fucking world. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like, obviously, but I just mean like in terms of like, I feel like we have, there's just too, there's too much shit about everybody now to where I feel like at a certain point, it's only going to be certain people. Like, I feel like the only person that's going to be remembered from our, this era, era of our life is going to be fucking Joe Rogan. I feel like that's the only person <laughs> that will be remembered in the future. Not Billie Eilish, not anybody of, like in the music scene. It's going to be just fucking Joe Rogan. God bless. And Donald Trump. Yeah, I suppose he'll be remembered. Yeah, I don't know. It's, but, it, 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 taints, it taints every success. It's like, why am I even doing this? I mean, I don't know. Well, I, I'm not. I'm not here to answer these philosophical questions. Besides, just saying that I like doing what I'm doing, and that's all you should do with your life. Uh, we need to have a room. Mm. Our writers' room, I think, shouldn't be in the living room. I think it should be in a room. Room, right? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you, you why. Do that. 
because I think that we should paint whatever room it is with bricks and we should call it the battle room and it should look like a castle. I'm down with that. And I was thinking, I was going to try to go online, I'm going to try to find some fake torches and we could hang those up on the wall and you can make it just battle themed. You can get in the you can get in the mode of being play command Teresa, and conquer. Only. It's the only band you're allowed to play. And I was thinking that you could probably even go on Etsy and you could find a custom LARP tapestry type deal. And you could probably get one that looks burned and torn and you could have one that Flash gets a meat canyon in this war room. That would be sick. I, I want to get a water fixture. I want like a stone water fountain of all of us three jacked as fuck, like entwined together and water spurting you keep out these of everywhere I you want it to. <laughs> You keep having these ideas that are thousands of dollars. Go I, I, big I'm or doing go home, like, my man. That's all I've got. That's all I've I got feel to like say. you could go big. You this can go big. This is a dollar Weber grill situation, bitch. I go for the well, fucking primo chrome. I'm thinking. Well, you're 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 thinking out. You're thinking too far outside the box because not only is the Weber grill a, a deal <laughs> of the century, but my God, is it practical? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, if somebody walked into our, it's like, oh yeah, you want to write with us? We have like, I don't know, just some fucking. Hot what is shots, the password? Like Trey, Park. Trey Parker and Matt Stone are like, hey, can we write with you guys? And we're like, yeah, I guess. And like, they come over and we're like, yeah, let's go to a writer's room. And they should walk in to like a live fire, like a, like a war room. On the wall. And then also we could have like a custom table made that's like has like a fucking like steel in it or something. I fell down a YouTube hole where you can do like steel inlays. In a table. What does that mean? Shit. Just makes it look medieval and badass. But it's got like a metal logo or something, like in the wood. Yeah. Oh, just like a logo. Yeah. Like yeah, embedded yeah. in the wood. Yeah. Or it, oh. like I, it can be all sorts of things, but usually I'd say primarily it's like logos or like some kind of pattern. Can we? Or something. How about this for the crim crew table? Can we mm. encase like a quart of each of our cum in the wood? <laughs> in, in resin. In the wood. Uh, mm. uh, 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 I'll be I'll be completely honest. I, I will I will not do that. <laughs> Dude, cream crew and the table literally has our cum encased in it. I think there should be a nice table with our cum in it. Inside and, and then inside of it is our cum. We get a we, we get a wood burning thing, or you get a chi like uh, some kind of deal to chisel out the wood and it's Tinky's face. You know, resin resin is really big right now. You could probably like tint the resin with cum, like make it kind of. You know, like off, uh, like cloudy. You know, cloudy you, you resin get, you cum. Get, you get the clear resin, but you you put our cum in it, and it makes it sort of like off. -white. This man is on board. Yeah, Don. Yeah. This this is this is where the synchronicity then... happens, Hunter. <laughs> this is where the fucking magnetic. You see us arguing a lot, but this is where our fucking we bind together and create something awesome. Well, what, what we do is we get over, we get like over, a live over, edge cum table. <laughs> you, get a, you get a nice like cedar live edge that sort of resembles an ice cream cone. You know. And then you mm -hmm. make the ice cream part, uh, the resin. And then that's that, that kind of thing's really big now. We could find some tutorials, you know? I want to come you know in one can. of those like yeah. paper cups. The pit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, <laughs> that's what they use in hospitals, right? Is it why? Uh, I, I don't, I don't think, know. I think I, they did it in Road Trip, and do, ever since I thought that looked like a good do idea. Do you want the paper cup to be part of the table? Like the, no, the no, I itself? just want to come in the cup. No, I, think and he, I, think, I, I think he just wants to. I think he just wants to <laughs> pour his cum from a paper cup. Is what I'm getting out of the situation, out of this exchange. Uh, it's double benefit because the paper will soak up some of the moisture, so you're left with only the good gloopy bits. Mm. <laughs> That's uh. The, once again, yeah. I mean, I would rather just prick my finger and have some of our blood. Oh, okay, it. it's like a fucking basic bitch of you. Basic bitch. That's brutal as shit, dude. If Metallica can get away with mixing common blood for load and reload album covers, and it's totally cool, why can't we fucking do it? And piss. Well, that wasn't. That was uh, the artist Andrew Serrano. Okay, so he you give someone list. a stupid Italian surname, and then they're allowed. Yeah, well, basically. And you have to have, like, a, you know, like a, a cool exhibition and have a popular photo called Piss Christ. <laughs> we could do uh, that. That's right. Yeah. Come Christ. Mm. Just took it to the next level. Mm. There you go. It's just, like, you don't even see the crucifix because there's just so much thick fucking, like, dusty cum just, like, <laughs> covering it. You just see, like, the you just see Jesus' face, like, pressed up against the mason jar glass. <laughs> 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 Come Christ! Fuck yeah, that'd dude. be pretty popular. I legitimately though want to encase something fun in the table. You wouldn't put meat in your ring, but we should do something—a piece of each of our taint hairs. I don't know something. I feel like hair. I'd rather do cum than hair. I don't know why hair just grosses me out even more. Taint yeah. hair. That kind of skeezed me out too. Yeah, especially taint hair. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't do normal hair. That's gay as shit. Mm. It's got to be something like rad about it. 
I'm still a fan of uh, um, blood. Oh, uh, blood's gay. There's something, there's something satanic and brutal about it. It's not every it's like evil. it's so overdone. Blood, everyone's done blood. If when Matt and Trey step into this room, Let's, and you told right, them, I, I, I was trying to, I was trying to gracefully dance around this. I feel like I would catch a disease from the table <laughs> if you put your cum in it. I didn't want to have to say Dude, it. Dude, my cum is clean. I feel clean, like baby. I feel like it's going to be like me and mine and uh, Don's cum are going to be like very standard white, and then yours is going to be like really harshly yellow or some shit, as if it's like mustard. Mm. And I'm going to be like, Potent. it's just going to be really gross because people are going to be like, "What is that?" And I'm like, "That's <laughs> that's Tom's pasty yeah, that's, cum. That's, 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 that's <laughs> you can Tom's spread cum. it with a knife. That's Tom's. That's Tom's fucking Dijon cum." <laughs> It's disgusting. Yeah, baby, Dude, I like just, it. Let's do it, boys. I just your pa your passion for cum is just alarming. <laughs> yeah. Don't <laughs> there, pretend nothing, that you guys like, don't secretly like want it. I'm that. just cool. the fucking. I'm rebellious no. enough to say it. I would. I would 100 percent tell you. At the same I time, I would be uncomfortable. I would be, I'd be uncomfortable knowing that somebody knows that I'm jacking off, and then knowing <laughs> that I'm carrying around a paper cup, a Dixie <laughs> cup of cum that I'm going to pour into a table, and then every time we sit at the table. My cum is there. <laughs> you're really, it's not good. You're really selling it to me. There has this to be a great. level of mystery in our lives. <laughs> and I feel like that the mystery in, is for immediately. Everyone else. They're like, what is that smell in this room? What woods did you use? For, <laughs> for everybody else, it's out, it's out on the internet. We, we put it out there. People will know. <laughs> because you know what would happen? That would be a great video. But we can't show ourselves pouring cum <laughs> into the table. <laughs> we could. <laughs> All right? We can pluck it out. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem. Here's the deal is you can, people are never going to know because I'm telling you right now, I might sneak a bit of my cum into the table. And now when anyone ever comes to the table, they're not going to know. They're going to be like, am I touching Tom's cum or am I not? And that's the excitement. He's always trying to mask any, uh, any suspicion that he's gay. <laughs> by talking at length no, 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 about but, but, cum. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes he gets excited about something and it just sort of ekes out. So he surrounds himself with accessories yeah. to bury it. It definitely, he, he's definitely titillated by the idea for sure. Yeah. He like really went off. As soon as someone said cum, he like hopped Dude, around. Dude, I'm excited. Little, little excited. I am. Because there's chops. a connection and it's acceptable and it's safe. Like in this, you know, yeah. this trio. Mm. But, but then you... He's like, wouldn't that be crazy? He's like, I could help you. <laughs> wouldn't it be so weird if I came and jacked <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the I've got I'll, the paper cups. I found them. I saw them at the store. Yeah, There's spit, just like into seventy the in a fucking the cups. <laughs> in one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I found these under the stairs. <laughs> <laughs>